Today I'll be demonstrating wound irrigation. Before we get started, we want to make sure that we've read our doctor's orders, reviewed the policy procedure manual, did good hand hygiene, identified our client, and for this procedure we're going to use sterile technique. So the first thing I'm going to do is when I enter the room, I'm going to remove the old bandage and I'm going to have a look at the wound. I'm going to identify the location, the length, width, and depth of the wound, what type of tissue is present at the um, base of the wound. I'm going to look at the peri-wound skin area and do an assessment of that as well. I'm going to assess the patient for their pain, and I'm also going to assess for any signs and symptoms of infection, including odor. Once that's complete, I'm going to set up my sterile tray, which I've already done. And then I just have a few extra items that I need to add. So I need to make, it, make sure I have um, something to dry the wound with after. I have my solution that I'm going to use for irrigation, which today I'm using normal saline. And then I'm going to add a syringe, so a 30cc syringe. as well as an IV catheter. And then whatever type of dressing that I'll be using to dress the wound when it's done. I put already a uh, waterproof pad underneath my patient. I could also put a little basin to collect the um, returns, uh, but I've chosen the waterproof pad. And now I'm gonna put on my gloves. So I'm going to take my IV catheter, I'm going to take off the lid, and inside you'll see the catheter and then this piece here. So you're going to grab it by the green portion here and you're going to depress this white button and the needle is actually going to retract into this little compartment. I'll then just put this piece down and I'm going to draw up my solution. You may require uh, additional PPE for this procedure, so think about any um, splashes, sprays. You're probably going to want to put on a um, gown and then a protective mask and eyewear. We're going to attach that to our syringe, and then we're going to go ahead and irrigate. Uh, we're going to be approximately uh, four inches from the wound, and we're just going to uh, gently depress the plunger of our syringe and let the irrigation fluid run down. You want to position your client so that um, the solution isn't going to pool inside the wound, nor do you want to be dragging solution from non-viable tissue across over viable tissue. You're going to continue until the solution runs clear. So basically, the uh, solution is no longer colored with blood or tissue. Uh, the solution is clear. So then once that's complete, you know, don't need that anymore, you're going to go ahead and dry the wound. So for the base of the wound, we're just going to absorb any extra fluid that's accumulated. And then we're going to dry around the wound. So you never want to leave the wound wet around because the tissues can macerate. And so we can end up with further damage uh, to that wound area. So once that's complete, I can go ahead and dress the wound according to my physician's orders. And then once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and document everything in my interdisciplinary progress notes treatment record, or wound care record.